This video will show you how to use the z-axis to create three-dimensional parts. Three-dimensional shapes are made by adding z-axis values to two-dimensional drawings. The z-axis represents the amount of material perpendicular to the screen. For example, let's draw a four-inch square. Enter 4 for the horizontal size and the vertical size. Now, if we set the Z value to 1, this will make the square 1 inch thick in the direction perpendicular to the screen. Click the Pyramid button to check the three-dimensional view. Now, suppose we want to add a protrusion. We do this by adding a new shape with a positive Z value. For example, let's add a circle. Let's set Z to 0 0.5. Checking the 3D view, we see the protrusion. If we change the Z value to minus 0.5 like this and check the 3D view, we see a recess instead of a protrusion resulting from the negative Z value. Next, suppose we want a hole fully through the part. To cut fully through, set the Z value to air inside like this. Let's check the 3D view. Note the hole fully through. Now suppose we want to shape the outer edges of a side view. This is done by setting the Z value to air outside. For example, let's create an oval outer shape in the front view. Select View, Front. Draw a circle inside the rectangle. Stretch it to all four sides, using the snap points to make the circle touch each side. Set the Z value to ear outside to specify that all material outside the line should be removed. Click the Pyramid button and note the new oval shape. 